Hello and welcome everyone. In today's episode, uh, as a part of our podcast series on AI and ML application of finance that is conducted by IIQF. So today is a very interesting topic. Of course, uh, uh, trading is uh, is de definitely a very hot area, and uh, everybody is interested. We have seen even uh, the retail clients, so as to say, again they they have got very excited in the last like maybe half a decade uh, into like uh, trading aspect. I mean, we have seen a huge increase in participation in the market, right? So the the volume, the 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 participation has increased drastically, right? So uh, anything related to trading is like of huge interest, not only to the uh, existing professionals, so to say, but even the people who are trying to enter into the industry, right? And yeah, another significant area of interest always in the last few years has been artificial intelligence and machine learning in general. So the combination of both uh, of, two, of these two fields is like something, uh, is a very exciting discussion for a lot of people, right? So, and this is a request that we have been getting from a lot of audiences to, to conduct a, a series or like, or maybe at least a talk on this particular uh, topic. So yeah, today's topic is uh, AI ML application in trading, right? And uh, to, to talk on this, uh, we have with us Sanjay, Sanjay Bhatia, and uh, I have been, we have already introduced uh, Sanjay in our earlier podcast as well. So I'm not going deep into that, but of course, uh, I'm genuinely thankful to you once again for taking your time out, uh, traveling, uh, and like again, spending time with us uh, to, to record this uh, on, on this podcast. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks, thanks. It's been a great opportunity at least to get the vibes uh, and the nerve of uh, the people who are aspiring and we right. are all doing for them and it's Absolutely. a great cause in itself, so right. Nah, nah, I mean, not only in the podcast series, you have been very, very generous in, uh, I mean, as a person, like the audience must know. So Sanjay has always been uh, very excited about spreading the word about uh, this, uh, oh, I mean, the advanced analytical fields. I mean, he always uh, is very proactive. I mean, he has actively been involved uh, with us uh, in our journey uh, in financial engineering, quant finance education. And like in the recent years, since we have given more stress to machine learning and AI, he has been at the for forefront. So genuinely thanks for uh, all the all the efforts. And thanks for being such an exciting opportunity. It plays to my, <laughs> where I want to go. Absolutely. Right? It, it enables my own journey, right? So, so it's a, it's a win-win situation for everyone. Wonderful to know that, wonderful to know that. So. Uh, uh, this discussion I would like to start with on a different note actually, right? Uh, so while uh, we started this podcast series in the first uh, uh, episode, we discussed about uh, the difference between AI and ML and data science and uh, in the general sense is that you also uh, elaborated quite uh, in, that, in that episode that in finance context, AI and ML generally are uh, not like that distinctive. They, they are almost uh, uh, similar, right? I mean, unlike a lot of other industries here, here the difference between AI and ML is not that much. But uh, what I gather and what I have understood is that, uh, particularly in the trading aspect, uh, AI ML uh, is a little distinctive. Am I correct in understanding yes, that? Yes, you are absolutely correct. And uh, though conceptually, theoretically, AI uh, is a layer or is a superset. Absolutely. It's, it's the master of universe. Correct. And uh, ML is the mind of that particular master. Correct. Right? So when this master of universe want to create something which could exactly and absolutely replace human intelligence. Right. By mimicking it absolutely to the perfection. Right? That is AI. And that's what happened happened in what has happened in trading you see that a lot of front office traders job has been replaced by algorithmic traders correct and uh, some consulting firm i don't clearly remember which one right. but uh, you know they said that it's in today's world the market uh, is uh, crowded with a war between algos rather than a war between traders 
True. So, yes. Yeah. So in the in the pit well, these trade uh, these uh, algos are putting bid and ask. Uh, maybe they they are bidding and maybe they are they are putting submitting the bids and they are doing so fast that it's right. a war. Who has who? Which firm has a better algo? Has a better profitable trading business. Correct and right. probably better uh, compute power as well. Yeah. So so that goes to the fact that maybe uh, the AI. Has really been uh, successful in manifesting itself, right? Right, and fully going full full circle, correct? Right in trading, right? Which means that the some of the areas where maybe if if you would have only you know constrained it to a level where the machine learning could have given an output, right? Right, uh, could have, you know maybe it has uh, you know done some analytics or some modeling around. Different execution strategies, trade execution strategies, right. with order uh, size-based execution strategy, or uh, market signal-based execution strategy, or arbitrage-based execution strategy. Right. It could have given an analytics, and the final decision would be by a man, a trader. Correct. Right. But it has uh, put this na- last nail in the coffin, right? Where you know the traders have seen the demise, and uh, it has been completely replaced. Not only the uh, it is. Devising, designing, deploying strategy, executing that strategy, right. but also optimizing and taking that decision: what is the right strategy for creating profit? All right. Right. So there's no no human interference. Okay. Not none of human interference. Right. Right. So that is the real application of AI: that it has completely mimicked the human intelligence in decision making. Right. Right. In Taking strategizing, right. in planning, in execution, right, right? which uh, you know, uh, which is just the borderline of uh, ML, and where AI literally starts taking over. Okay, so that's exciting and scary as well. So, yeah. <laughs> and so does that mean that, like, uh, I mean, if we talk about advanced uh, trading, then uh, is like the human traders are dead? Yeah, it's a good news. Uh, so, uh, being for an optimist like me, die-hard optimist, it's a good news. You are yeah. saying that okay, the capitalist uh, side of the world is going down. Few right. traders, just by trading in markets, could not be so so filthy rich. Okay. Right? Okay. So that money which will be earned would be then at you know by by algos and it could be uh-huh. distributed among the people rather than in the hands of. You know, hefty bonuses being paid to few traders, which could have a wrong effect on the market. And the second part is now in many of the good uh, financial engineering institute, uh, people are aware, and many of the our aspirants and those people who have followed uh, the financial engineering as a subject from education side, right. they know that there's a focus on behavioral finance as well. Absolutely, and it has always been a. You know, think that in these institutes or premier uh, Ivy League uh, institutes, that it has been taught that the emotions at play, yeah. the trader, how it plays into the market, and how a trader could be rogue trader. Correct. What made him rogue yeah. and completely destroy the market? Correct. Now, the AI ML has a good effect, right? AI ML algorithms, right? Uh, you cannot, you know. You cannot instinctively put some emotions there. Right. It's a algorithm. If it it would be wrong, it uh-huh. would again be subject to somebody, you know, uh, you know, four eye check. Right. right. But it is not emotionally driven by uh, you know the market. It is not driving the market. So market will become more rationalized. Okay. And it will further promote participation in the market by broader set of investors. As you started this podcast by saying yeah. that there's a broader set of participation from retail investors right. and a broader set of interests. Because now market would no more be irrational exuberance where these few traders would drive the market here there by taking large position or. Executing bulk orders based on some strategies. Right? Wonderful. I mean, yeah. that's a very uh, different way of thinking. I never uh, uh, thought about this socialist angle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of, not uh, that I am a socialist, but uh, nor, no, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> nor saying am I a capitalist, so I'm 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 looking for an alternative right. to all these uh, typical things. And uh, if the wealth will be distributed in an even way. No, no, that's yeah. a wonderful thought. Actually, I mean, uh, but, but I'm just saying that's a very different way of uh, 
thinking again, uh, not heard uh, this uh, line of thinking for many speakers. So it's like a, a very noble uh, thought actually, to be honest, uh, right? So very quickly, like again, uh, uh, what are the uh, I mean, exact application areas of uh, machine learning or AI in uh, trading? So, so far, uh, Nitish, you know, and you have been at the core of uh, uh, teaching the algorithmic trading and high frequency trading Correct. in many of your courses, uh, which I keep following, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Right? Uh, but, uh, you know, you know that these strategies are well defined. It's Correct. just that, uh, you know, how somebody execute that strategy, that changes. So there's order size based execution strategy, there's market signal based execution strategy, there's right. arbitrage based execution strategy. Now what uh, machine learning is doing, machine learning is adding uh, to this armor of strategy. Absolutely. Right. So it is not only, uh, you know, just reinventing these strategies right. which have already been tested with new data, but coming out with novel strategies. Absolutely. Right? Like uh, uh, some of the novel strategies could be tomorrow that climate risk impact. Uh -huh. Based on the climate risk, right or its uh, impact in coming years where should uh, we move money from one market to another market right right it could be possibility correct right it's my figment of imagination that i'm saying this but it could be a possibility even driven we call even driven strategy yeah right? today's most of the risk event is the climate and sustainability risk. correct so it could be a another event which the machine learning could be you know exploring or doing the price discovery right, right upon and maybe move money here and there so there are many arbitrage the world is far more fragmented right and there are multiple micro markets operating at you know parallelly right right so there are many many you know such arbitrage opportunities between markets between asset classes and some of the alternative asset classes Correct. like bitcoins or maybe cryptos or maybe solar or others right renewable energy pack, Correct. right so which could we bring into the foray and maybe money could be moved from here to there there to here right so yeah, absolutely i mean as the saying goes i mean more more areas uh, i mean in trading i mean more 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 areas or more kind of uh, theories you have to understand the market or predict the market the more money you can make so essentially apart from all the traditional ways of trading using AIML I'm sure would create a lot more uh, I mean opportunities or a lot more predictive power to the trading community so yes, absolutely. absolutely so also uh, also the liquidity the market right. has gain in its depth the market has gained its in its liquidity and since we were very much concerned most of the uh, market observers and market pundits are always concerned that a crisis uh, is journey led by the liquidity crisis yes. or liquidity crunch. The market has been given a renewed liquidity, despite that the market has never fully recovered from the pandemic. And, yeah. You know, even uh, we are still in sketchy phases from even great financial crisis right. to fully recover. But you will see that the liquidity has not that much been a concern yeah. because the high frequency trading okay. and algorithmic trading, the the fast moving of money, your uh -huh. deployment of money at bulk, has paved the way to create liquidity in market. Right. Right. So the, right. the, the prices, although there's a high volatility, Correct. but there's no concern on liquidity. Somebody would buy, obviously. Right. Right. There's a liquidity. Correct. Uh, the average daily trading volume is growing and is being steady. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So I mean, wonderful explanation once again. So I mean, with that, uh, uh, we would uh, like to conclude uh, today's episode. So yeah, I mean. Uh, Machine learning and AI has been like a huge uh, area in, in the trading industry. It has been uh, very widely used now. So, I mean, thanks so much for your thoughts on that, right? So with that, uh, we conclude uh, today's, uh, uh, this particular uh, episode. And uh, see you in the next web episode of like our uh, podcast series that we at IIQ have conduct on various uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning and data science applications in finance. See you in the next episode.